Okay, we're now heading down the hill. We might stop at a, it's another close bar. It's not a gentleman's club. Uh, it's called the Booze Lounge. Uh, just only because beer is a good price and it's cool. Downside, people smoke in there, which is not so cool. So I don't mind people who smoke, but I just think it shouldn't be indoors. And I'm sure it's not legal here anyway, but you who know, well, the hell believes follows the law anyway. So this is the dark side and not as the title suggests the bad side it's the dark side because it never had lights initially when they moved over this side of town so it was always referred to as the dark side and it's stuck to its name even though lights are here and everything's lit up uh, it's still called the dark side there you go some information This is common here in Thailand, and that's actually a Phalang, a foreigner. They pull out and go at about half a mile an hour. They pull out and then put the brakes on, just like this guy's doing now. What a dick. Right, here's the booze lounge. Let's pop in. This guy says, give me a minute, I've got these bikes, I don't know why the hell they want to cut off the bloody exhaust pipes. Booze Lounge, it's just a close bar, uh, beers at a fairly reasonable price, we're going to go down there. Oh, we listen to all these wonderful bloody bikes that make so much fucking noise. Fucking hate it. That'll be for outtakes. Really? Come in. <laughs> Wow. Right, here we are. We've done the booze lounge. We are now about to head home. So take that out, take that out, shut it down. Right, done. Yeah. All right, so we're going now from the dark side back to the light side. <laughs> Even though it's very light here, trust me. Okay. Okay. So I'm really testing to see how the pickup on the microphone is while you're riding a bike. Is so uh, <coughs> we're going to go down the hill here, uh, cross. Once we cross the railway tracks, we're then on the other side back into Pattaya town, as such. So until we get to the railway tracks we are continually on the dark side it's been a, a stunning day weather-wise today i have to say it's, it's really quite warm we've had some really bad weather in the last few days lots of heavy downpours not cold or anything just quite heavy going so you can't really get out and you want to do some content it's it's a lot more difficult, not because the, you know, one of the cameras we use is waterproof, in fact, two are waterproof, but that's kind of not the point. There's, I guess there's nothing worse than looking at a video on a dismally gray day when you're, you know, in a dismal country like England. It doesn't fulfill you or inspire you with motivation to get up and do something. I've seen on other videos and I would reiterate this to be true. You really do need eyes right the way around. 360 degree coverage because eh, they come from everywhere. Like this dude's gonna now cause a traffic troubles. Yeah, it's, um, it's madness. And I'll say something, this is low season in uh, Thailand. And 
This will be my, my second long-term low season experience and it's nothing like the last low season. You know, everyone's going, oh, it's dead, it's quiet, it's dead. As it certainly is not. It's not dead, it's not quiet. Yes, it's not up to the, you know, the numbers of high season, but it's definitely not the same as previous low season, which really was very, very quiet. This is definitely not that. Okay, we're on the dark side, which is normally quieter anyway than the other side. But, you know, John Tien, Patia, all that sort of thing, that's not quiet. That's a load of rubbish. I think there's a lot, there's an awful lot of Russians here. The Chinese are here now as well. Um, there's, there's a lot of Indians here. I don't know if it's their time of year to come, I don't know, but I'm just telling you, low season it may be, low numbers of people, it certainly isn't. The Thai government must be making a killing on the economy. I don't know if that's the reason why the Thai baht's so strong, it's strengthening and strengthening and all the major currencies are not doing very well against it. And I don't know why. Well, I do know why England is, because England's a shithole and it's got a shitty government, so that makes a lot of sense to me as to why that's not working very well, but, you know, actually, same with America, also got a shitty government, so, yeah, maybe that's the reason. Maybe the Australians are, I don't know the Australian political system, but uh, maybe you've also got a bunch of wankers in power like we have. I'm not 100% sure we'll be able to use that. Sweary, sweary, Mary. So I'm talking probably more than I ought to because I'm trying to test how good the microphone is when we're driving along. We're using the DJI uh, 2, the mic. Be interesting to see what it sounds like because it's like, very windy in my ears. I'm not sure what's coming through. So I'm trying to go a slightly longer way back. That, you know, you could go a shorter way, but I don't want to go that way because the traffic down Thepreset Road, for example, is an absolute nightmare. And nobody really cares, you know, what you're doing if you're driving, whatever you're doing, they don't give a toss. So this is a bit of a nicer ride anyway, to be honest with you. Beautiful day, beautiful day. Beautiful day for a bike ride, I'll tell you that. Really lovely. I think maybe we'll try this one. Yeah, we'll go down here, see if it's a bit quieter. As I say, trying to avoid Therpacet Road. We've done this way before. Okay, oh, is it up? Oh, eyes out, eyes off, eyes off. Oh, here we go, there we are. I think what we might do is uh, take you down to uh, the Prior Road and uh, grab a beer at Lone Star or something where they've got, split, you know, happy hour, 55 bar. Why not? Sunday, right? So, hey, let's do what we've got to do. Coming up now to Sucumbit Road, but further down from Thepreset. Yeah, this is perfect. It's exactly where I wanted to come out. You see the traffic up there? That's a Sunday traffic for you. It is very busy. And we've got to get right across the road. And I'm going to give it a go in a minute. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I'll give it a bit of a break. We'll fly down here. You find, honestly, um, traffic in Bangkok is much, much busier, but they tend to be a lot more, you know, user-friendly. They, they're aware of each other and they, they try and give each other space. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, that's what we wanted to do, and we did it. You've got to have uh, a bit of commitment to when you're making some moves like this. Snow is obviously a little worried about what just happened there, but honestly, if you don't do it, you're never getting out, so... You know, they say when in Rome and all that, ride like everyone else rides, and to some degree, I agree with that. But what I really disagree with very, very strongly is why so many foreign guys don't wear helmets. They don't wear any form of 
you know, head protection, as if they've suddenly created themselves a, a head of steel. You know, look, we're not wearing bike gear. I know we're not doing that, but you go know, really just protect your head, at the very least protect your head. And the other thing is understanding the traffic rules. Um, there are some places you, you can mostly turn left at red lights, but there are also other places where the sign actually says do not. And the worst perpetrators of not following the laws are the foreigners. It's the foreigners, the Thais, this is their country, okay? We can't make a judgment on their country, but the foreigners should know better. They come from what they call the first world country, where they have laws that you have to follow. And they come here and then just forget about everything. You know, I try to follow the traffic laws as best I can, I genuinely do. I don't go the wrong down, the wrong, sorry, the wrong way down one way streets. I do wear a helmet, which is a requirement. I don't go through red lights. I don't turn left where I'm not allowed to. You know, we all make the odd mistake, I get it. But why the hell? What is wrong with you foreign people, man? Sort yourselves out. Don't come here and think you suddenly turned into a Thai. You're not fucking Thai. You're foreign. Act with a little bit more fucking control. Oh, that's gonna go down well, isn't it? Yeah. How he went viral, how he never went viral, how he killed his channel. <laughs> I think sometimes you just gotta say it like it is. And if this doesn't make the final video, then it might well make, you see the, the case in point, the dude behind me, got a fucking cap on and he's trying to overtake me on the right. What a wanker. So I'm going to do a naughty, well it's not really, I just want to get by this, this black vehicle here. It's a real pain. I just don't like it when you can't see what's ahead. I can now a little bit, it's better. Okay, here we go. No, no, we're all stoppy mode, stoppy, stop, stop. Here we go, case in point. Foreigner, no helmet, perfect stuff. So we're coming up, uh, Dark Side's obviously behind us, we're now coming up to John Tien, second road, which we're going to swing to the right here. If you've watched any of the other videos, you may well recognise a lot of the stuff we're passing right now. What the hell? It's like right in my face, what are you doing? That was a bit uncomfortable, thank you. I thought you were like looking at my nose there or something. Just... Such a beautiful day, isn't it? Hey? We, we've had such, we've had such weather of like rain and rain and rain. It's just so nice to see the sun. So this area we're entering is officially called Nong Pong, as you'll see the sign over there. But it, it's jumps here essentially. Straight ahead, if you went that way, you'd come up to the um, beach road, but now the beach roads are one way, you'd have to go that way all the way. So if you want to follow up the beach road, you need to go this way first to come down. It's a bit of a pain, to be honest, but uh, anyway, that's what it is. Yeah, that was a very long way to the traffic lights and it is currently 34 degrees. 34 degrees. It's hot. It's mad. It's goddamn hot out here. We're coming into a little bit more congestion because on the right uh, shortly is Rompo Market. Uh, it's also a U-turn point, so that's where the congestion comes from. As you can see ahead, the white van there turning around. So it, it just clogs up a little bit. It's not, it's not awful. 
but you just slow down and just be aware. Um, if that light's red and you're foreign, as far as the foreigners seem to be concerned, it means go, believe it or not. But uh, as you can see, it's going to red and I will stop because I actually try to follow the rule, rules of the road, which clearly they don't, but there you go. But they're, they're local, it's up to them. It's the foreigners that irritate me. I'm not quite sure what that extra half a second matters but the way I look at it is let them go first because they can die before me and that's perfect someone hits them they're not going to hit me are they so I think it's a win-win so you go for it boys and girls especially those with no helmets now the next traffic lights we're coming up to this is a no turn left when on red and you might see on the camera how many people ignore this and I don't even snow keeps telling me oh go 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 but i don't i don't go it says it says but it's true it says do not turn left and you say oh just go I say no my 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 it's the truth when always go no <laughs> Should we go Lone Star? Lone Star? Lone Star. <laughs> Don't stick it up my friggin' nose. <laughs> I don't want my fucking nose. Thank you very much.